Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Yes, as the title suggests, we're getting a bot to decide what I'm going to be building today. And what that bot has given me is currently on screen. It's a 17 ton infantry support vehicle with an 88mm long gun, 5 crew members and a 1.05 litre cylinder per cylinder uh, V8 engine. Which is uh, one of the more normal prompts that it gave people. So this is for a competition that's going to be run in the official Sprocket Discord, link in the description for that one. Um, and yeah, I, I'm taking part, and this is is going to be my entry for that, essentially. Um, now, there's a couple things uh, here which are good, and a couple things which are very, very bad. Um, so the good thing, the gun, very nice. Long 88. Love it. I mean, that's just great. Can't argue with that. Um... And the five crew members. Normal number of crew members. Some people got like ten. So, five? Nice! Radio operator, loader, gunner, commander, driver. Boom. There you go. Five crew complement. Quite simple. Quite easy. On to the bad side of things. Seventeen tons. That's not a lot for an infantry support vehicle. I... I took that prompt to mean like an infantry fighting vehicle. Like a kind of Bradley kind of thing. Or a Swedish... You know, the big... Big gun Swedish ones, if you play War Thunder, you know what I mean. Um, they've got weird names, I don't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the engine. The engine is dismal. That is really bad. 1.05 litres per cylinder in a V8? That is not a lot of power. We are going to be a very, very slow IFV. I probably could have gone for more like a, 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 a Churchill or a Matilda, like an infantry tank. Um... That would have also been infantry support, but I, I just thought something that would be able to carry wounded, carry troops to the battlefield, carry supplies to the battlefield. Just a general, you know, I guess APC, but it's an IFV because it's got a gun on it. Yep. You know what I mean. Uh, like, a BMP kind of role. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just thought this was this was more true to the, the era and the prompt that I got. And so I went with it. And it, it's huge. It is a massive, massive vehicle. I did not need to go this big, probably. But realistically, it would have to be quite big if you got wounded people in there. Wounded people need more space than non-wounded people because they're wounded. Uh, well, technically, I guess they take up less space if they've had, like, an arm blown off or something. But realistically, you want to give them more space so you're not like, get in that chair, Dave! I know you've got no leg, but get in! Uh, he might not be too thrilled about that after he's just lost a leg. Um, but, yeah, sorry, what was I talking about? I don't really know. Um, yeah, basically, that's, that's what we got. It's got some good parts, it's got some bad parts, and uh, you're about to see how it does in my own little bit of testing. Um, so, yeah, uh, enjoy that, and uh, good luck to all of those who are going to be up against it, uh, because, you know, obviously it, it's going to win because it's the best thing ever, um, which you're going to learn from the gameplay. It, it really isn't. <laughs> it really isn't the best thing ever. It's not... Uh, spoilers, I guess. It's, it's not the best tank in the world, but... Uh, yeah, that's mostly due to the engine. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure it will do fine. <laughs> mm. And here we have my infantry fighting vehicle with the very simple name. It's the LT53888LG. Uh, that simply means, simply put, uh, it's the 538th blueprint I've made in this faction. It's a light tank. Uh, it's got an 88mm long gun. There you go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this thing is built with some pretty big flaws. So, first things first, um, the gun handling is fantastic. It It is really, really good. Um, it's basically stabilized for all intents and purposes. Not quite, but, like, you know, as close as you're really going to get. Um, <laughs> we had to build to 17 tons. So this thing... Don't go fast. I've had to use clutch steering because it saves me weight. Um, and the engine was only allowed to be a V8 with 1.05 liters per cylinder. So it's not very fast either. Both of these things, not hugely great considering what it's meant to be. Um, however, on the flip side, we have 
a really fast firing gun. Three second reload. And it dishes out a lot of penetration. I mean, look at the size of this barrel. Um, <laughs> so, in theory, this should be quite a potent weapon. What we're going to do now is we're just going to do what we would normally do with a tank. Uh, obviously not a fully normal tank, as this will be up against other people's real, actual tanks. But we're going to try it against some of the scenarios in the game and see how we do. Probably very badly. <laughs> Its camo is barely recognisable in the snow, uh, and it's been a long while since we were here on Tiger, but here we go. Um, <laughs> there's six of us, which is a good number. We, we have not a lot of weight behind us, so we can spawn in quite a few. Please get out of my way. Uh, I worry that AI is not going to use this tank very well. I'm really going to need to be very careful with my positioning, otherwise it's going to be next to useless. Um, there goes one of our guys already. Uh, we don't have a lot of armor anywhere. The only places where we might bounce a shot are very near to the gun mantlet. That's kind of somewhat thick. Somehow we're still alive after being shot a couple times already. Uh, I thought I saw an enemy, but I clearly didn't. I think there might be one back there, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Struggling. Struggling with the old eyesight here. Let's, let's try and reposition. There's definitely an enemy down there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I found him. Okay. I'm the last guy left. Uh, we've not killed any enemies. <laughs> so it's not the greatest of first combat trials for the uh, LT here. We'll, we'll see if we can turn this around at all. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> this thing's a bit of a boat. It's not great. Okay, I have removed armor from the side. I've removed armor from the hull on the front as well. So if we show our hull, we are even weaker now. But our turret might, might block the odd shot if we're really, really lucky. So maybe this is a better combination here. I'm hoping just min-maxing my armor, basically, <laughs> is going to pay dividends. There's tanks over there. Those are the AMXs. Uh, they're not too bad to go through the front of, and I just want to kind of deal with them as quickly as possible. Uh, we are firing the AP this time, so hopefully we'll have less trouble penetrating the enemy. Uh, those King Tigers are going to be pretty scary. Oh, and I've just been doinked from a, in front by a King Tiger. Um, I think I see it somewhere. No, maybe not. Maybe I don't. There's something. That's definitely a King Tiger, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, they're still just blasting through the front. <laughs> Okay, we're going to call Tiger a lost cause. Uh, I don't think we're winning in that level. Uh, what I might just do is make a version just for this video where I actually give it some decent armor. Not amazing armor, obviously it's an IFE, but like some armor uh, and an engine that could actually, you know, pull the hairs off a grapefruit. What the hell kind of a statement is that? Grapefruit don't have hairs. Anyway, uh, yeah, other than weird analogies, uh, we're on defense, and we're going to see how we do this time. In theory, maybe a little bit better, because we can have a numerical advantage, basically. <laughs> okay, we got targets on the left side. we got AMXs. Those are not a problem. Oh, unless I aim like that. Come on. Oh, goodness. Let's just deal with that one first. There we go. That made me feel a little bit better about myself. Maybe confidence is what I needed. It is! Confidence is all I needed to succeed. There goes another AMX. There's a King Tiger with my face on the side of it. It's dead. There's another King Tiger, presumably also with my face on the side of it. Hello, friend. You- oh. Uh, just chill. There we go. It's dead. It doesn't have my face on the side of it anymore. The decal has broken. That's fine. Well, <laughs> kill this last- Yes! Oh, flawless. That is amazing. So much better in <laughs> defense. Maybe, maybe not as bad as I thought it was, given Tiger. Uh, maybe this tank 
has some redeeming qualities. You know what? Let's let's take it to Fields and see how it does. Okie dokie, Fields. In theory, in theory, this level should be easier. However, as we have discovered in practice from previous videos where we make modern tanks, this level actually is nails. <laughs> So, we, we, yeah, we could have an interesting time. Okie dokie, seven light tanks. We outnumber them by one. Uh, <laughs> and in theory, this should be Halibars, if I remember my enemies correctly. So, any moment now, they should be coming over the hill. There's three there. Uh, yeah, they're coming up straight ahead as well. So, let's just put ourselves in position. Uh, and get ready with the APHE. We fire very quickly, so we should be able to kill lots of these halibars in a very short space of time. Oh, that's just embarrassing. Um, oh, that's also just embarrassing. Please don't kill any of my friends as a result of my terrible, terrible shooting. Uh, right, uh, get him out. Yes, uh, there's another one there. Deal with him. Uh, there's one all the way over there. There's one down there. Let's deal with that one if we can. Oh, we've hit the hill. Uh, let's deal with these far away ones. We've lost three of our tanks already. That's not great. Don't lose myself. That would be unideal. Go. Um, there's two down in that dip. I've just got to push forward here. Otherwise, they're going to keep killing my friends, I think. I don't know what the AI is doing in this thing, but they're not doing amazingly. That's another Halibar gone. Where's the last one? There it is, I think. What? Uh. Hello. There, there we go. Okay, right. That was a little bit confusing. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of tigers shooting at me now. There's seven tigers. Four of us. We've got to get into this dip before we die. We can't stay out in the open. We will die very, very quickly. Um. The longer we're up on top of this hill, the longer we are likely to just get deleted by a very long-range tiger shell. I'd love to have hit with any of those, but ultimately, most importantly, we're now down in this ravine. This is going to be my saviour, I feel. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, we're, we are just about small enough to hide behind this hill. Can we poke and get this tiger on the hill? Yep, there we go. We've got the one on the right there that was shooting us earlier. I would like to get rid of him because uh, he's just a big angle to me, but also a bit dangerous. Uh, that should be a pretty decent shot. It wasn't at all. That was awful. Just terrible. That was also terrible. Oh my, come on. There we go. We finally, <laughs> finally hit anywhere other than the really trolly upper front plate. Uh, oh, there's two on the hill. That's not what I wanted to see. I really wanted one. Um, okay, we're still alive. And I think the best move might be to go for this one at the back now. Uh, we're really picking them off quickly here. There goes another one. There's one really far in the distance over that way. I don't know if I can get great visibility. Oh, no! We've been hit. That's all it takes. <laughs> That's all it takes is one... One shot from a tiger that I just don't quite avoid. And uh, that's my good positioning gone. That's a huge, huge loss. Ah! Oh! I just caught a glimpse of a tiger on the other side of this hill. I think it's pushing up. Is it going to go in the ravine? It is. Can we wait in ambush? for it to come out of the ravine. If I just drive up this hill a bit, I reckon I can stay in cover from over there. There's one there. I don't think any are pushing up there. There he is. Coming up now. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, two tigers remain. Got this one. And I think another one in the distance somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where, to be honest. Let's try and just poke a shot over at this guy. Okay. That's gone well. We just need 
to find this last tiger without dying first. <laughs> um. Oh my god, wait, is that... Is that it there? A little bit lower. A little bit lower still. A little tiny bit lower. Oh my god, it had shots on me this whole time. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's quite fortunate that it didn't see me. We've we've done well on fields, actually. Um, now, what I am going to do, just one last fun little thing. I'm going to make a version of this with a good engine. I'm going to make a version of this with a tiny little bit of armor. And we're going to put it up against some of my actual modern tanks, what I've designed. Okie dokie, we have the same gun, a much improved engine, and a tiny little bit more armor on the hull. Uh, the turret armor is the same, apart from on the sides where it's enough to block small arms fire, which it previously uh, was not even close to. On our side we have two of my British MBT that I made a while ago, uh, and on the enemy side, as you can see, we have the M41 bulk bulldog kind of thing, uh, and those French oscillating MBTs also, both from older videos. Um, <laughs> So, we're gonna see how everybody does here. I'm surprised I've not gone through- Whoa! I'm surprised I've not gone through those 209, uh, French- two, 208s, the, the auto-loading French MBTs. They are kind of squishy, uh, so the fact that I've not killed them yet- Surprising! There we go, we're doing a little bit better now. Uh, you've given me the back of your tank, except I've just failed to shoot it completely. There's a 209 on my side! Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, yep, yeah, that was inevitable. Uh, I'm very upset that I didn't manage to get that shot off. Um, where's the last three enemies then? Uh, oh, I just saw a shot. Not sure exactly where from. I'm surprised how well the uh, MBTs have held up here. Normally they die quite quickly, but I think I'm the only uh, actual uh, IFV left. I think the other two are both the MBTs, which is a surprisingly decent performance for them. They don't normally do that well. <laughs> Where's this last guy then? There he is, over this hill. And uh, we're just going to rush him down and uh, pump him full of lead. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's surprisingly effective when you actually get a pretty decent engine into it. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad of a tank at all. Um, and, uh, well, I, I hope it fits the requirements of the competition, and I hope it does pretty well. If it doesn't, uh, I'll be making modifications for the actual version that I submit to, like, fit them closer. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see those being uh, fought against other entrants fairly soon-ish. Uh, I'm not in... 100% sure where that's going to be at the moment, uh, but you can be in the official Sprocket Discord. To find out, that will be linked in the description, as well as my Discord and uh, my Patreon, if you want to support me there. Um, but yeah, all of that self-promotion and malarkey out of the way, uh, I will say farewell for now, and uh, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and uh, I will see you in the future, hopefully. Bye-bye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons, Badger, CamGem135, Cody N, DJ Peets, Gavin Yelverton, Gunmaster929, SadCat, Yoki003, JustaCasualty6, Germ1, LastLegend11, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rollstalls, Balkan, Ryan Brody, The Canesian Emperor, Tree Loving Mango, Zero Shime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.